Hello, my lovely listeners. Welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Let's listen to Nehi Nigel. There were once five giants who were builders. Their names were Fi, Fi, Fo, Fum, and Nigel. Together, they built beautiful castles. Fi, Fi, Fo, and Fum were not very clever giants. They had never been to school and sometimes muddled their own names, but they were big and strong, as every giant should be. Nigel, on the other hand, had lots of bright ideas. He liked sums and drawing and inventing things, but the problem was, Nigel was far too small to be a proper giant. In fact, he was so tiny, he had to bath in a boot and sleep in a sock. The other giants called him Nehi Nigel. Every day, Nigel sat indoors at a tiny desk with a tiny cup of tea and drew tiny but careful plans for enormous and wonderful new castles. And every day, whatever the weather, Fee, Fi, Fo and Fum would work outside, pulling up trees and carrying boulders to build the enormous and wonderful castles Nigel had designed. They were so big, they didn't need cranes. Nigel was brainy, the others were muscly and Everyone got along fine until... One cold, wet Wednesday morning, one of the big giants, it might have been Fum, looked out at the muddy building site and said, It's not fair. Nigel was eating his breakfast, a whole cornflake. What's not fair? he said. We do all the hard work, rain or shine, and you sit in here not doing nothing. It's not fair. Yeah, said the others. It's not fair. Right? said Nigel, reaching for his tiny umbrella. If that's how you feel, let's see how you manage without me. And he packed up all his tiny, careful drawings and struggled out into the rain. The big giants didn't waste any time. They put a big advertisement in the newspaper. Fee, fi, fo and fum, we will get your building done. Nigel wrote an advertisement too, but his was small and careful. Knee high Nigel, qualified constructor of quite incredible quality castles, by appointment to the Queen. The big giant started work on a colossal concrete castle. They built it by the sea because there was plenty of sand for the cement. They didn't have plans, so they sort of made it up as they went along. They put the roof on upside down and forgot to put in a door. So it was probably just as well that the tide came in and washed it all away. Nigel was much smarter. With tremendous care, he designed a fabulous, luxurious castle, making sure every detail was exactly right. He planned a roof garden, an escalator, a fitted kitchen with all kinds of gadgets, even a solar-heated jacuzzi. I will call it Sky High Manor, he said. Nigel was very pleased with himself until he started work. The trouble was, Nigel couldn't lift a single brick let alone push a wheelbarrow. He couldn't mix the cement, and when it started raining, he slipped inside the cement mixer, completely spoiling his nice new suit. That's it, said Nigel. I've had enough. Nigel walked wearily home and found the four big giants sitting on the step, looking very gloomy. We're sorry, Nige, said Fee. We've been silly billies, said Fi. We don't need cranes, said Fo. But we do need brains, said Fum. I'm sorry too, boys, said Nigel, brushing some cement from his shoe. But look, I've got a brilliant idea for a new castle. And he pulled out the plans for Sky High Manor. Fantastic, said the big giants. The next day, the big giants went outside to lay the foundations for Sky High Manor. It was going to be their best castle yet. Back at his desk, Nigel poured himself a tiny cup of tea and read through the advertisement he was writing. Nehi, Nigel and Partners, big and beautiful buildings. We've got muscle, we've got height, and one of us is really bright. That's me, said Nehi, Nigel. The end. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this story, please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.